In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve quadratic equations by taking square roots. It is the same three steps that we've done in previous lessons. Step one is to isolate the square term. Step two is to take the square root of both sides of the equation. And step three is to simplify if possible. The only difference is that now we have an expression that is being squared as opposed to just a variable. So here, 2x minus 1 squared equals 81. My square term is by itself. It's isolated. So I can undo the square by taking the square root of both sides. The square root undoes the square, and that leaves me with 2x minus 1. Whenever we take the square root of a number, it's always plus or minus. What is the square root of 81? 9. From here, I have two equations that I can solve. I have 2x minus 1 equals positive 9, and 2x minus 1 equals negative 9. Now, how I get two equations is like this. I have 1 for the plus sign. Let me make that smaller. So 1 for the plus sign, and that's this equation right here. And then I have 1 for the minus sign, and that's this equation over here. So 1 for positive 9 and 1 for negative 9. We're going to solve both of these equations. So to undo subtraction, I'll do addition, and I'll have 2x is equal to 10. To undo multiplication, I'll do division, and I'll get 2, um, here my 2's will cancel, and I'll get x equals 5. For the other equation, to undo subtraction, I'll do addition, and I'll get 2x is equal to negative 8. To undo multiplication, I'll do division and get x equals negative 4. So it's the same exact process, just looks slightly different. Go ahead and try example 2. x minus 5 is being squared, and that term is isolated, so I can undo the square by taking the square root. The square root undoes a square, and that just leaves me with x minus 5. Whenever we take the square root of a number, it's always plus or minus. What is the square root of 100? 10. So from here, I have two equations that I can solve x minus 5 equals positive 10, and x minus 5 equals negative 10. Again, I have one equation for the plus sign, and I have another equation for the minus sign. And I'm just going to solve each of these equations. To undo subtraction, I'll do addition and get x equals 15. To undo subtraction, I'll do addition and get x equals negative 5. Both of these are my solutions. On example 3, we always want to isolate the square term. So if I want to get x plus 3 squared by itself, I first need to move this negative 5 to the other side. To undo subtraction, I'm going to do addition. And so I'll bring down my x plus 3 squared. Negative 5 plus 5 is 0. 11 plus 5 is 16. Now my square term is isolated. To undo the square, I can take the square root. And so I'll have x plus 3 equals plus or minus. What is the square root of 16? 4. So from here, I have two equations that I can solve. x plus 3 equals positive 4, and x plus 3 equals negative 4. Again, I have one equation for the plus sign, and I have one equation for the minus sign. To undo addition, I'm going to do subtraction and get x equals positive 1. To undo addition, I'll do subtraction and get x equals negative 7. These are my two solutions. Go ahead and pause the video and try example 4. On example 4, I want to get my square term alone. 
So first, I need to move that positive 1 to the other side. To undo addition, I'll do subtraction. So I'm going to bring down my 4x minus 3 squared. 1 minus 1 is 0. 26 minus 1 is 25. Now my square term is by itself. So to undo the square, I can take the square root. The square root undoes the square, and that leaves me with 4x minus 3. Whenever you take the square root of a number, it's always plus or minus. The square root of 25 is 5. From here, I have two equations to solve. 4x minus 3 equals positive 5, and 4x minus 3 equals negative 5. To undo subtraction, I'm going to do addition. And so I'll have 4x equals 8. And then to undo multiplication, I'll do division and get x is equal to 2. For my second equation, to undo subtraction, I'll do addition and get 4x is equal to negative 2. To undo multiplication, I'll do division and get x equals negative 2 fourths but that reduces to negative one half because I can simplify by dividing each of these by two. So my two solutions are positive two and negative one half.